I know they went through the whole of the last chance qualifier. What the fuck are these champion choices? There's Ramos, Ezreal, Timo again, Master Yi, Zoe again, Garen. Ah, it's such a boring list of champions. Zaya Rakan again. Riven again. No, it's because I think of Next Play Esports. I'm so used to saying Next Play, but I'm I'm fine now. I say Nigma Galaxy. I always say Nigma Galaxy now. Oh, we're gonna put Yasuo. You just banned Remus. Yeah, I know the last chance qualifier um, now stood pretty well. Riven 而且確實在solo的強度上它是不低的,你不用考慮到打野的這個因素,你的大前站你是可以去多次消耗對面而不用擔心去被打野抓的。但這裡面基本上兩邊都會在虛弱。來看一看。亞索,亞索其實在我們
，所以说爆了两下，对于瑞文的影响还是挺大的。否则在正面换血上，其实瑞文的。Actually so close to kill each other. 对比一下我们两边的小地图，我们这边还是挺含蓄的哈。They're so close to kill each other, and they just didn't kill each other. 是，身后直接趴椅子看，确实，但是更有那种大学寝室的感觉了。是的，真真有点。对。而且很焦灼，马上升五了。这把如果真的这样稳着打的话，也不是不可能等到缩圈。哎、呃，招皮也是。呃，也五了，也五了。要开大招了，踩一套。Oh, Riven wins this for sure now. Yeah. This is the thing is, yes, if Yasuo misses tornado, then Riven just has easy access. Pretty sure Riven wins every time. Riven wins every time if Yasuo doesn't hit the tornado. 那这一个人头拿完，感觉悬了呀。这个一血直接把 Rocky 给打笑了，身后的身后的队友都走了，看不下去了，就是那种失望摇摇头走了。Fish or Riven wins every single time. 好，只有裁判还坚持。It's always the Baron lane. Is it Joel? No, no, no. 队友想这把技了。They pick who is the one v one. They pick their team picks who they want to play in a one v one. 第一场 solo 赛赢下来的跟最后的结果其实没太大关系，就是没有什么正相关的关系，是吧？ What if they have tournament client? Yeah, they will have tournament client. They will. 让这个选手的心态更好一点，这个可能是实打实的。是的，回家。They will definitely have tournament client. 出门，现在已经是被领先一个一血了，难打了呀，等级也被压制到。最主要，亚索在 solo 赛当中想放出自己的大招，其实也没有那么好放。嗯，哎，但其实亚索可以趁这个时间去消耗一下。如果说赚了，好，我刚想说，如果说赚了的话，他可以把对面的救赎给抢掉。这边也是满血吃了个救赎，不给你机会。这抢血包就有点像单人路区抢果子那个感觉，就是你什么事情都可以，但是你不能抢我果子。哎，来了！哦 ，There we go. Yeah, Riven just smashes him. Not even close. 最后虽然说狂血有点吹。喂！哦哦 ，That's kind of close. 还是 A 死了，血量差距太大了。Wait, they're actually so happy that they won that one v one. Maybe they were try harding for that one v one. Maybe they wanted to win the one v one to get side selection. That was actually really close. I thought Yasuo was going to win in the end because of the passive shield. I guess the shield was enough. The shield was not enough. Oh, that's a nice one. See, the thing is, I don't know anyone on the side of Naos, and I don't really know anyone on the side of Rarata either. Like, no one on the side of Naos, like, shouts out at me. Or, like, like not anyone that I remember, anyway. From playing last year. Oh, now says hotel sponsor. Oh, so maybe it's just a hotel glass. Ah. They impersonate in your accent, Stu. Wait, what do you mean? What I miss? Wait, what I miss? Wait, Red Atom banning Zoe on blue side. Huh. Interesting. I thought they would leave Zoe up for Zoe to get first picks, unless they don't feel comfortable with the first pick, maybe. Mirai was a former pro league uh, league PC. Mm, cool. All right, all the picks are all the bands are done. First pick, Jax. Ah. Early priority on the Jax. Wow, what is it with SCA teams and loving Jace? Didn't Nigma Galaxy play it two games in a row as well? Now Naos are picking it up as well. Naos. Hotel wine. <laughs> Hotel wine bust is true. It's so true. It's so true. It's so true. This is third game in a row now that Philippine teams have picked Jay's first pick or first rotation. Yeah, AR with production is so cool. Olaf and Akali, my. God, their top side is so disgusting. Jax, Olaf, and Akali. But now you have support 
already? You could just ban. They're going ash again? Look, look. Is that not wine? There has to be some sort of juice, right? Even though it's in a wine bowl. Oh, they go for ash again. They go for ash again. Wait, is this the same as what Nigma Galaxy played? They just taken a page out of Nigma Galaxy's book. I mean, this is what won won their series against against Trace last week. They went Gragas Ash bot lane and Ash with support. They went Jace mid as well. Like now, so just taking something straight out of the the Nigma Galaxy book. Exact same thing. Yes, do you want some wine? No, it's 9 a.m. for me. I do not need wine. I am all good. I am all good. Copy pasta and GX draft is true. It's true. <laughs> Yumi banned and Galio banned, no surprise. So you're probably going to see a Nautilus pick here by Rare Atom. Not really many, much of a support left to open. I think you have to ban the Yumi though, because like Yumi Jax and Yumi Olaf is kind of scary. Renekton pick? Okay, so leaving the jungle pick till last. Varus? You just got Varus and Nautilus here, bot lane. It's a pretty solid bot lane. No, I think the person drinking the wine or like whatever the wine is, is uh, Miramo, right? The ADC? Yeah, there you go. This Nautilus pick. Varus and Nautilus bot lane. Yep, expected. Kind of expected. Oh, Lisa, this is the exact same draft. No, I think maybe it was a different Baron laner. I think it was Camille instead in a Baron lane. But this is the exact same draft that Nigma Galaxy played against Tracy Sports last week. Like, this is the exact same. This is the exact same sort of draft that Nigma Galaxy did against Tracy Sports last week. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh, Nigma Galaxy picked Camille instead of Renekton, but they wanted to ban it away because they don't. They don't want it to get first picked, I guess. It's going to be pretty hype. I, I mean, we can do predictions if you want. I don't mind doing... Wait, hold on. I need to set it up, though. The problem is we're going into the game already. So it's kind of difficult. Yeah, like we're going into the game already. It's way too difficult. Unless I just do it for two minutes or something. I mean, nothing's going to happen in the first two minutes, right? I'll do a prediction. I will do it for two minutes. Nothing's going to happen in two minutes, right? Right? Get your predictions in chat. Who wins game one? Water of Esports was cancelled? No, no. No, no, no. Just a, like, this is the only official tournament. Yeah, look. Nals are doing the exact same thing as what Nigma Galaxy did. Nals are just putting Ash in top lane. Support Ash. They're playing the one versus two. The exact same thing as before. Wait, what? Gragas? Okay. Wait, where's the support of... Okay, it's Conqueror, Fleet Footwork. My god, look how much Conqueror there is on the side of Naus. Everyone's running Conqueror. Okay, Nautilus is sitting mid lane, get mid lane priority instead. Which I guess is not a bad thing. You get mid lane priority because the Kali is going to get absolutely destroyed in this mid lane. Okay, Nautilus goes back top lane now. Okay, 
改动了之后，其实对于艾希这种游走的长手辅助真的是太舒服了。Oh, trading top lane. This is not good. That is not good. That is not good. They lose the two v two. Oh no. They lost the two v two top lane. That is not a good start. I mean, they trade kills, but it's still not good. They still trade kills, but it's it's really not good. My Popo meta is different to rate, so different to regular play. Just kind of how the meta, how the meta comes around. Like there's so many things that influence pro play meta, especially China. China's like the main region that influences the pro play meta. Like China was one of the first regions. Oh no, now he's just dead. Oh yeah, this is bad. This is thing when you're playing Ash against like Nautilus, you misstep once and then you're just dead, and now they're just gonna tower dive the Renekton, and Renekton's dead now as well. Yep. Kick, 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 kick. No, no kick. Okay, that's kind of clean by Lee Sin. Okay, he traced two for one there. That's not bad. Okay. Wait, this does not look good. But I feel like Jace is going to die. Oh no, the Ash Arrow missed. Oh, Rocky, okay, chill. I mean, there's e it's even trades in the top lane most of the time, but I feel like this Ash support is definitely not it. This Ash pick has not been good so far. This is a problem. Look, you play Ash, and when you play over aggressive like this, you get hooked once by Nautilus, and you're just dead. You don't have flash, you're just dead. This tower dive was a bit over aggressive, though. I guess they saw that Nautilus was level five. This Nautilus ulti was way too early. They should have waited with this Nautilus ulti. Yeah. They could easily chain CC this Renekton so he doesn't flash away. Kick flash was kind of nice, though. So yeah, it's uh, it's be mixed plays to be fair. Be mixed plays. Everyone for one trade favors Jax over Renekton, yeah, for sure. I mean, they pick this Renekton to try and win early game. The same with the Lee Sin, and they also pick this Ash to try and bully in the early game. But problem is, you're not bullying anyone. What the hell is this? Triple Ruby Crystal for the Nautilus? What the hell? That triple ruby crystal. What the fuck? I guess he just didn't have enough money to buy a tier 2 item. I don't know. That's really weird. Just triple ruby crystal. It's normally okay because you buy war monks, which builds into ruby crystal anyway. Oh, okay. That was kind of a nice pick. Good, good ash ulti as well. Nice aggression. Use that for the dragon. Okay. Most of some uh, Varisol to use mid, but nothing comes of it. Okay, they just use the Rittel top lane. I think they're going to take this tower as well. Yeah, they easily take this tower. Okay, so standard trade in the early game. You get Rift Held, you get first tower. You get Dragon. Interesting thing is, even though Rare Atom just got first tower, they're behind in gold. They got first tower and Rift Held, and they're behind in gold. Which is not very good for Rare Atom. Because normally you get first Rift Held to try and get an early game lead. Like kind of this first rift hold is just to keep up with gold more than anything. Oh, this is the ash that I want to see. This is exactly what I wanted to see from Nigma Galaxy. Use the ash and just try and get plays around the map. Oh, Khan oh, Calm played that so well. Calm flash forward, baited. Oh, that was a good flash, though. You see how Calm flash forward, but then he waited? Oh, hook flash. 
Okay, that's two people dead. Oh no, another flash. My god, that was a series of really nice plays though by both teams. Like Khan flashing forward and then he could have used his second ability there, but he forced the counter strike from Jax and then rooted him afterwards. He had the flash away from Jax from the body slam, the hook flashed by the Nautilus. That's a really nice... Really nice one. Really, really nice one. Oh, nice kick again. They're all so low. Okay. Okay, nice flash away from the virus. Zalpi is actually playing really well. Is that how you pronounce his name? Zalpi? Zaopi? I don't know how to pronounce the now jungle. Why are all their names so difficult? All their names are so difficult. Oh, that's, yeah, that's a bit too much. Maybe not. Maybe it's not too much. Okay. Oh! Huh? He survived! Hog! Oh, Zalpi? Zalpi? My god, how did he survive that? What the hell? Only calm is easy to pronounce? True. Zalpi. Or Zalpi? 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 That was our first seat. There's the Ash Arrow. Oh, close. Forces the flash. Okay, you know what I'm liking is that Naos is actually using the Ashara very, very well. Like, I feel like Enigma Galaxy didn't use the Ash very well. And Naos are doing it insanely well. This makes me want to play Ash support. Do I play Ash support?因为一直去打这种边线上的小团，给爱姬的发挥实在是太好了。泰坦狂徒做出来了，二十秒的时间，刷新二先锋。Max在后面埋伏，反蹲一波。好的，贾克斯的发育目前没有受到什么影响，是
What the fuck is that Jax healing? Oh my god. What a crazy turn of events that was. This Ash Arrow by Miro though was so clean. Like look at this. Like just oh it was so sick. Actually moved it a little as well. Ah, oh, the exhaust was way too late though. But like look at the healing from the Jax, look! Jax is just auto attacking the whole time. Oh my god, the grasp. Oh, they had so disgusting. This, uh, the healing is so disgusting on this champion. My god. Holy moly. Ben's a bullet? Yeah, legit. Ben's a bullet. What a spicy game is this? This is so far. It's a really spicy game. Wait, why is... Did I just see Nautilus going random in Zoman? Oh, I don't think they can kill the Jax. Oh, maybe they can. No, they can't. Oh, the Gragas barrel was so bad. Oh. The Gragas barrel was so bad. The Gragas just basically knocked the Jax so he could hit the um, jump onto the honeycomb fruit. Uh, onto the honey fruit. Uh, the Gragas barrel was so bad. Wait, Cardi went crystalline reflector. Interesting. We're actually true. Where the hell is Nars' AP damage? Interesting. Oh, Ash Arrow, there it is again. Wait, why, wait, why didn't Jax get rooted there? No, this is too far. 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 Okay, yes, Stasis. Okay, they're actually winning the fight. Akali, kill the Akali. Oh, no. Okay, it's not that bad. Okay, it wasn't actually that bad in the end. Okay. Oh, Ash Arrow back up again? Gragas Barrel? Oh, it's so clean. It's so clean. Chinese teams don't know how to deal with the Ash. Chinese teams actually don't know how to deal with the Ash. It's crazy. It's actually crazy. They don't know how to deal with the Ash. Holy moly. Oh, Ash Arrow again. Why didn't this W? Oh, he didn't W stun. That's why. Oh, Calm could have easily just W stun, but he auto attacked instead. Look at this Ash Arrow again. Oh my god, these Ash Arrows are so clean. I love it. Wait, Olaf went mantle of the 12th hour. Pog? Any mantle enjoyers? Yeah, like grand wins. Why is Nautilus going grand wins? No one's dealing crit damage. Nautilus went rand wins when no one is dealing crit damage. Why? Why do you go rand wins? What's this rand wins on Nautilus doing? Nothing. It's actually doing nothing at all. I don't get it. I don't know. I don't know what this rand wins Nautilus is doing. Like absolutely nothing. Okay, Akali's on the flank again. Gragas is really low as well. Whoa, the kick! The kick is so clean, they're all dead! 
This is GG. My god, the Lee Sin's been so clean this game as well. Zolpi played so well. The Lee Sin kick again. I mean, these Philippines teams, I'm telling you, like, they have something that they can play against these Chinese teams. The leasing pick, the early aggression, the Ash support as well, is beating Chinese teams every single time. Yes, it's the two weakest Chinese teams, but... I mean, this is, this is the two weakest Chinese teams for sure, but still... My god, what a clean game. What a clean game. I mean, they made a few mistakes. Like, they made a few mistakes. A few games they were overextended, but, you know. All right, game number two. We're into draft where atoms stay on the blue sides. Do they pan away the ash? Should they ban the ash? What do you think, chat? Should they ban the ash? Will Red Atom ban away the Ash? That's the question. That is the question. Wait, did Riot stream, <laughs> Riot stream crash? Did it really? That pretty much sums up that stream, to be fair. Oh, no, it didn't. No, it's just delayed. It's just delayed. It's so, it's so terrible. Like how, like, look, we're in draft. We can see draft here. Look at the official English stream on Twitch. Two minutes. Why do they have delay? There's already delay on this stream. Like, why do they have delay? They just have delay on delay. Oh. They didn't ban Ash or Lee Sin again. They could just do the same again. Let's just, they just go Jace Gragas. They just go Jace Gragas here. Yep, this is the exact same draft. I mean, the bans are exactly the same. The picks are exactly the same so far. The question is, do Red Atom just pick away the Lee Sin or the Ash? I feel like they need to. I don't think Chinese teams know how to deal with this, you know, the Ash support. And also the Lee Sin, the aggression from these SEA teams, I think are too much for Chinese teams to handle. Kha'Zix. That's going to be something a bit different. Kha'Zix with Morty potentially in the jungle. What counts as Ash support? Any sort of engage. You saw how Nautilus did against Ash support in the laning phase. Like, Nautilus was just pure aggression. Pure aggression. You just ulted the Ash and you just CC the Ash. The thing is with Ash is that you have to be so so careful in side lanes. Like, you just have to group really and just hope that you can win team fights. Yeah, look, they do the same draft again. This is the same draft. Just causing strong now for Red Atom. So it just switches things up. And I'll do Red Atom ban the Lee Sin. They probably do on second rotation, right? I think you just ban Galio and Nautilus here for Naos. You ban Galio and Nautilus, you shrink the support pool even more. And then you force them on what? Alistar probably? Which then Ash can just completely bully out Alistar in lane. You think Yumi? I don't think they need to ban Yumi here. The only real Yumi target is really Jax. And maybe Akali as well. I don't know. I think the, the Ash can just bully out the Yumi. Maybe they'll still ban Yumi though because they're kind of scared about it. Yeah, the Olaf didn't do too much from last game. Thank you all for the follows. Appreciate it. VB6B12, thank you for the follow. Titaran31, thank you for the follow as well. 
Perfection doll, thank you for the follow as well. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate all the follows. <laughs> wow, they're banning Olaf themselves. Ziggs ban. Interesting. So they ban away the Ziggs. They're not scared of the Nautilus. They're not scared of the Nautilus. They're more scared of the Ziggs. <laughs> now it's what, Riven Jungle? <laughs> is this Riven Jungle? Or is it Jace Jungle? I guess they have that flexibility. But they kind of know what the top side of Rare Atom is already. Chat, if you don't know as well, before we get into the second game, I am running a giveaway at the moment. Riot gave me some uh, skins to give away. Some random skin chests to give away. So if you want to enter in the giveaway, you can either go onto the Twitter link and like, uh, like, follow, and retweet on Twitter. Or if you go over to YouTube and subscribe to the channel, like the video and comment on the video, then you can enter in the giveaway on YouTube as well. I'll have multiple YouTube videos that you can enter. Oh, Rakan! Oh! This is something different from Chinese teams. The Corky's not different, but Rakan is Cassid. Oh, Cassidin! Okay, this is a spicy draft. Rakan and Cassidin. Oh, this is spicy. My imagine Ash Arrow with with the Cassidin. That's scary. My God, they still have the Ash though. I feel like Cassidin can be uh, can be pretty okay against the Kali as well in the early game. Cassidin just can just play it passive. Cassidin for Mitsura. Wow. Mitsura. New predict? Yeah, there's a new, there's a new prediction up. It's already up. Look at the top of the chat. You should see the prediction is up. Rakan and Cassidin. Rakan from the Chinese team, right? Atom, Cassidin for Naos Esports. Spicy picks. Spicy, spicy picks. Spicy, spicy picks. Spicy, spicy, spicy. Spicy, 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 spicy. Spicy, Wait, why did this go? I don't know why it went small. I don't know why it went small for. Nakata的一个线圈，嗯，艾希依然是选择陪着瑞文过来压武器，但是这一把最梦就有点难受了，因为上一盘Nails他们是选择速推兵线的，这一把选择一个控线的方式，那最梦会很难吃前期的几个
<laughs> straight on to the casting. Oh, it's Jace Jungle as well. <laughs> they call flash straight on to the casting. That's kind of funny. But every single time, because Rare Atom are playing an aggressive support in this top lane, they're taking advantage of this Ash because Ash can't do anything in the early game. Like Rare Atom just play aggressive. This is a counter to Ash. You play any aggressive support in the bot lane, and that's the cap. That's the counter. Oh, you play someone like Rakan that can easily just knock about. I mean, I don't know why Calm's going in here. No idea why Calm's going in. Okay, there's the Ash arrow. As soon as Ash hit, hits level 5, you just know that Ash is going to get kills. You just know every single time this Ash is going to get kills. Ash gets level 5, you Ash, Ash Arrow, and then someone's dead. Every single time. Aaron is the new dual lane? Pretty much. Pretty much. Corky nearly won the 1v1. Oh, it's Crit Corky! Oh, I actually seen Crit Corky by China. And not this Man Immune Trinity Force build. Hook! Just四十五秒，只要爱惜再立一波攻的话，那资源就由Neos去掌控两边打一个。嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯
。Oh, Ashara again. Oh, isolation damage though. <gasps> no. Khan didn't use the second part of his ulti. Ah, uh, Calm didn't use the second part of his ulti. He would have killed him as well if he used the second part of his ulti. And slashed him. One one angle, maybe. Maybe it's a one one angle. Oh, Ashara again! Oh, you're on the tower this time, buddy. Oh no, it's tragic. Are they gonna kill Morty? I don't think they're gonna kill him. No, no, we must be. I don't know, these Asharos are still doing a lot of work. I mean, now is still 700 gold ahead. This recall, by the way, is so fucking cool. Like, what the hell? Such a cool recall. It's going down the game for Kassin to hit level 13. Yeah, I mean, Kassin just needs to hit level 13. And this game's over, I think. This game's over as soon as Kassin hits level 13. Corky has two items, though. I mean, there still is a lot of scaling on the side of Red Atom. Like, Corky's going to scale. Akali's going to scale. Same with Jax and also Kha'Zix. Like, both teams have pretty good scaling. Akali has two items. Corky has two items. Warmonk's tank for Khan as well. Oh, Corky? Oh, they knocked everyone away! <laughs> I don't think that Gragas Barrel was, uh, was intended, but it actually worked out pretty well. I don't think it was intended, but it actually worked out pretty well for them. <laughs> Mission failed successfully. Exactly. It's like, like Rafe was trying to, um, or Raph or Rafe. I don't know if it's Rafe or Raph. Like the Gragas was trying to knock someone into his team, but just knocked everyone away. It actually gave them Rift Herald. Oh, and they got a charge mid lane. That's not bad. Red Atom did take the first dragon though, so. It's Rafei? Rafei? Oh, Asharo, there it is! Again, they just don't know how to deal with these Asharos. Look how much damage they're dealing. Oh, Kasten. Okay. Wait, it's Rafei? How the fuck is that Rafei? If that was like English, like British English, it'd be like Raph or something. Oh no, the Kasten's caught. The Kasten's completely caught. Oh, Akali's in the back line, no. <gasps> Akali starts barrier. Oh, oh, Akali escapes. How does Akali live? Oh! Okay, this Ash is fucking clean. Holy shit. This Ash is so clean. 
Mirmo is cracked on Ash. Holy shit, was that blind as well? That was blind as well, chat, right? Did he not have vision? I don't know if he used his E before. I think that was clean. I think that was... I think that was clean. That's some Goss. I think that was blind. Oh, he used Hawk Shot? Ah, I see, I see. That was still fucking cool, though. That was cool, though. How's it going, Goss? Hope you're doing well. Tangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangang
Yeah, three drakes? No, it's not three drakes. It's two drakes to one. The way that you see that it's two drakes to one, you see in the middle part here. So there's one drake over to Rare Atom on the left. There's two drakes over to to Naus. Like not work. Like not one team has three dragons. It's kind of weird the way it works, but it's like the split in the middle. So Rare Atom have Mountain and then Naus have Ocean and Infernal. That's not clear at all. Yeah, it's not very clear. Oh, they caught the fucking. Kha'Zix, my god. You can see build yet. You can only see one person's build, though. You can't see all the builds. You can't see all the builds. Yeah, this game's over. I mean, I want to see all their builds. I don't want to see just one person builds. I want to see the end of game screen with all the builds. Oh, Ash Hour again. Oh, my god. I think it's going to end the game as well. GG, Naus. GG's. What a great game. What a great series again by Philippines. Philippines 2, China 0.